Hey y'all, I'm Brooke, and today I have with me my boyfriend. Brenda. They call me Harry. That's right, they call him Harry. And we have decided to start making recipes two different ways. So taking the same thing, but making it two very different ways from different parts of the world. One of those parts of the world is where I'm from, South Louisiana, the Cajun style. And I'm gonna do the Indian way, the Punjabi style. And what's Punjabi style? That's northern, from northern part of India, it is spicy. Uh, so both ways are gonna be spicy, but very different spice combinations. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to make chicken wings two very different ways. I call my wings Cajun spice wings with remoulade sauce. I'm gonna do the chicken wings marinated in yogurt and masala sauce with uh, fresh pickled raw onion and yogurt sauce. Yeah, Harry loves his yeah. onions, so. So with both different varieties of chicken, you gotta marinate those bad boys overnight. So get the wings, get the drumettes. I'm gonna tell you all about the marinade for the Cajun spice wings. So you're gonna need extra virgin olive oil, apple cider vinegar, some minced garlic, and a splash of Tabasco sauce. And of course you're gonna need Tony's. Tony's is a Cajun spice blend, and everybody has this little green cylinder of Tony's at their kitchen back home. So it's a blend of stuff like pepper, salt, of course, garlic powder. You can also get McCormick Cajun Spice, but don't use Old Bay, it's not quite the same. You're gonna mix all that together as your marinade, make that juice, and then put the chicken in there, and then get that going in the fridge for eight to 12 hours. The way Punjabis make uh, marinade is with the murk masala, it's made up of different spices. Coriander, cumin, paprika, cinnamon. It tastes like Christmas, kind of, yeah, right? It smells right. and tastes like Christmas. Mix it in yogurt, and you put the chicken wings in there, and you marinate it for 12 hours. 12 hours, hours. y'all. Yeah. He's very specific yes, about that. 12 hours. So basically, Harry, in your chicken marinade, you are just using yogurt and masala powder. Ma masala powder, that's it. Where can you get masala powder? You can buy that at any Indian grocery store. Can you get it online? Yes, you can. Yeah. yeah. And same with Tony's. You can get Tony's yeah. online. You can get Tony's at a lot of like your bigger box stores. After you marinate the Punjabi spicy rings for 12 hours, you take it out of the fridge and you put it on a casserole dish, a little spray on it, and you put it in the oven for 40 minutes. For both chickens, 400 degrees, approximately 40 minutes each. Mine is covered three quarters of the way through, rotate, uncover. Harry's is? Uncovered. Uncovered the whole time. Uncovered the whole time. And not rotating. Not rotating. All right, but if you mix that up, I don't think it'll make that much of a difference. Yeah. Now, chicken wings, usually you'll have buffalo wings, right, with a blue cheese sauce. We did sauces that are based on our motherlands, so Harry's gonna talk about how he did the Raita sauce. I made my yogurt and cucumber sauce. It's very simple. You just chop the cucumber up and you just put it in the yogurt. You can put salt to your liking, salt, pepper, or even roasted cumin. Roasted cumin. And what kind of yogurt are you using? Are you using like a... Um, Obviously unflavored, right? You want to it's plain, a plain right? yogurt, plain yogurt, non-fat yogurt. Non-fat? Yeah. Okay. But you can use any type of yogurt. Uh, any any kind of yogurt. Right, yeah. as long as it's plain. Right. Don't use strawberry yogurt, no. right? No, no, just plain yogurt. So the remoulade sauce. The biggest thing that you need for it is mayonnaise. I cannot stand mayonnaise, so I'm using Greek yogurt. Now I combine my Momo's recipe with Recipes I've tried in the past are remoulade sauce that are two very different kinds of remoulade sauces. Now, Momo's recipe calls for ketchup, which I also don't like, oddly enough, and hard-boiled eggs, all mashed up with the mayonnaise and many other different ingredients. And I combine that with the Creole remoulade, which I much prefer. Both also have mustard. So you're gonna add about three quarters of a cup of Greek yogurt. You can double this recipe if you want, depending on the amount of people you are serving. Today, it is just Harry and I, so we don't quite need as much. An eighth of a cup of mustard, 
An ideal mustard for this would be Zatarain's Creole mustard. Use what you have, the spicier the better. About a tablespoon of paprika, about a half teaspoon of pickle juice. If you don't have pickle juice, use apple cider vinegar, lemon, something really tangy. Tony's! A half teaspoon of Tony's, about a teaspoon of coarse radish, about a half teaspoon of minced garlic, a teaspoon of Worcestershire. Worcestershire? How do you say Worcestershire, Harry? Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I have a friend from Worcester, Massachusetts. And a splash of Tabasco. Stir that bad boy up. Whoa. The longer you can let a sauce set up, the better. Obviously, don't leave it for a week, but again, Harry likes 12 hours. Yeah. I would say at least three to four hours to let the juices all melt. That looks delicious. That looks delicious, Harry says. I'm a little unsure about it. So after 40 minutes, take those bad boys out of the oven. These are mine. These are mine, the Punjabi spicy wings. Look how nice and organized they are in the tray. If you marinate them in yogurt, the taste, they're, they're much more softer and the taste beautiful. Ta-da, you have uh, our chicken wings. You have the Punjabi spicy chicken wings. Oh. And you added a little bit of, you, a lot uh, of pickled onions. Pickled onion and a green chili pepper. And I have the ricotta oh. sauce with some green onions that I actually grow in the backyard. So, let's try each other's. Okay. I never like to watch people eat on camera. Harry loves uh, diners, drive-ins, and dives. Dime. <laughs> with Guy Fieri. Great guy, but I just like, I don't always want to see people eat. So sorry, y'all. You gotta watch us eat. Delicious. That's good. It's sweet. It's delicious. This is different. There's like yeah. a hint of sweetness to it. It's not spicy. Like people I think are afraid of Indian food or Cajun food because, oh, it's so spicy. This is not very spicy as in hot. A lot of flavor. It's sweet. It's very unexpected. This is spicy. No? No, it's spicy. All right. I'm going to try it. I guess right a raw onion it turns the palate. Yes. Whoa! Vidalia onion is the best. Yeah. I still haven't tried mine yet. No, I haven't tried mine yet. See that nice kind of crispness that we got? That's kind of what a, the Tony's does. Right. It, um, there's a blackened crust to it. Mm -hmm. Mine is a little spicy. A little bit spicy. But not hot. Not and this hot. is flavorful, yeah. but not to where, oh my God, I need yeah. water. It's good. It's really good. And. Y'all, side note, this is the first time we've ever made these. Yeah. So, y'all, something. Thanks so much, y'all, for tuning in and watching us do our chicken wings two different ways. The Cajun Spice with Marmalade. And the Punjabi Spicy Chicken Wings. With Raita. With Raita and fresh pickled onions. You gotta have the fresh pickled onions. That has to go with it. Has to go with it. We hope to do a lot more of these kind of recipes for y'all where we take one type of dish and we make it two different ways to represent our cultures to honor my grandma, Momo, and my mom. And remember, laissez les bon temps rouler. Shukriya. Shukriya. Thank you. Bye, y'all.